Nice Jack here for Gonzo's World and welcome to Retro World Pickups video. So first of all, I had a good time there at Retro World. Absolutely lovely to see. They got some great and amazing stuff down here. You know, it's been a nearly four months since the last time I came in it back it was back in uh, in March. Um, and unfortunately it was been I was supposed to be doing it in June, but unfortunately it went hold by um by suitable reasons. But we're giving a push forward to, to July, that one here on the 8th. It was absolutely brilliant late, you know, that uh, the weather was okay, so before the rainstorm coming up. But anyway, it was a great, absolutely good to see Rob and Jane Terran here. First time coming in Saturday, that one here. But more importantly, that one day, they got amazing good stuff there. I mean, in the private one here, I'm showing the video that uh, there were some very rare games, such as uh, there was the Adams Family, that one on the Mega Drive. Also on the Mega Drive, that one it is the Ghostbusters, that one here. Good classic Ghostbusters. You can't go wrong. And this particular game, that one here, is this one. If we can see it, right there. So that is the game called Mazelin Wars. So I might have to look at it on YouTube being for this and um, hopefully might quite interest it. But I can see that you know the price that one there, the price of the game that one there is 80 pounds for one there. So very hard. And it's got its complete collection with uh, with manual for one there. So that is definitely some good news. Um, also we can see some very few of the rare stuff there's a lot of magazines. All classic stuff, right? Star Wars commemorabilia is in there as well. But it was absolutely brilliant, like so. If you haven't seen the video, I will put that video in. So uh, you go down. I thought you could have seen it on the screen, but I will put it. In, it's going to be right down here to um, where we go and to see, like, see more. And then there's a video for that uh, that uh, venue I went to. But anyway. Without further ado, let's check it out the pickups. So, what do you pick up for it? I haven't got much of it, so I'm saving up for one here. But uh, basically, for coming up for North VTE coming up this month, so I'm really super excited and hyped for that. So, I managed to purchase three of them two games and one magazine for one here. So, first one started off with the games, that one here. So, the first one is a PlayStation 1 title. Even though you gotta have to have some love that when they're on your favorite, like the Disney's uh, Disney's category. So I played. I haven't seen this game for one here. I see watching YouTube, and it looks a good platform. And I thought they said that's definitely got a good, but happy with that. So the first PS One game is a PS One game, and I show you is this. Yep, Mickey's Wild Adventure for one here. So. Like I said, this, I never played this one before. I might have to look at if I could get a chance to play a demo disc for one. I might give it a go with Mickey's Wild Adventure just in case to get some practicing. But anyway, it's a good platforming for one here. And uh, you know, how much do you pay for it? As you can see here, this says here 10 pounds. 10 quid, which is definitely a very good price. So I'm going to do right now is um, open it up. There we go. There you go. So, and I tell you guys to say for one here is it's a lovely good condition. It really is a good condition for one here. So that's go wrong. So anyway, let's get inside. Yeah, fold it very very nicely. So we are a little bit close here. Look at that. It's just nicely. It's a platinum edition for it, but we don't mind for it. But anyway, very thrill and super hype with get ready for Mickey's Wild Adventure. Looks like I'm gonna get ready to how to play for it, and hopefully featuring this um, coming up uh, on YouTube. But it might be good to do it maybe next year or so. But hopefully it's all there in my collection. So give it. A, I hope to say if you say that uh, it's a good game, Mickey Wild Adventure. Remember, please drop down your comments. That one here, I really appreciate it. To say I'll give it a go for it. So anyway, so that was the very first one. Now next one, another game for this one is a PS3 title, and this one, you know, I can't walk, walk away from it. Even though it's an anime and keep it like a, a, a Japanese RPG anime game for one here. No, it's not Naruto for one here. Good wishful thinking, but this game is just a god. So happy with that. Yep, it's another one. It is. 
Hyper Destination Neptuna MK2. Yeah, so MK2 of a sequel for one there. So absolutely, I haven't seen. I've seen this before on YouTube in about about a year ago or two, and I said that has definitely got a very good, interesting story for one here. So this is going to be actually one of the finals. Uh, I think it's going to be on a side quest or something here. But this one here, you know, absolutely, you can follow the lovely of Neptune for one here. This one's a little bit different save than the originals, but. Believe me, you got anything for Hybrid Destination Neptuna games is you're gonna have to go for it. So how much do you pay for it? And as you can see here, it is £29.99. But aka will be a £30. So really, really nicely for it. So anyway. So we got a manual and the disc in there. That's so nicely done. So, and like I said, they've all been tested for one here, and like we said, these all been tested before selling out, which is definitely good. Okay, and it's now time to say the best for last. And this one here, it is a magazine. Now, in this video for one here, so, you know, I've seen this one a few lots of times, as, and you know, there's, there's some lots of, there's Dreamcast games with demos, which is in excellent conditions. But there is one magazine I just can't, I can't, I can't hold it for. I can't wait for anyone to see. I can't let it go. I just can't let it go. And so I picked up this lovely piece of gem. Yep, the official PlayStation Magazine 42. And this time, as you can see here, look, we got the special edition one here because this is carried between with you it is over playable right over playable one 20 over 20 discs but as you can see this screen over here 22 22 playable demo games in there i mean here's what you got metal gear solid you get devil's dice cool borders free max power racing scars v2000 that one here Yozzy complaining now. I'm not sure which one it is, but hopefully we'll go have a look at it But tell you what it is just an absolutely gem of the piece for one here. I mean, this is an excellent excellent condition for one here So as you can see the price that one here is 25 pounds Yeah, I know you're thinking but this is an excellent condition for it guys But I'm just saying I'm really happy with that uh, there is another one, you know, there's a Dreamcasters game just with demo. So hopefully, if it's still around, we're hopefully the next time I'll see, I'll pop in for it and I'll be trying to get a little bit more. But anyway, I am very thrilled and very happy, honest to allow me, you know, Rob and James allowed me to rob the shop. It was just absolutely brilliant. And like you said, if you want to, like I said, we want everyone here to support all the retro shops that we're at, like, you know, like, like them guys. Uh, like uh, Retro Worlds, that one here, Mobile Games Exchange, Power World Universes, Kirby Sales Exchange, and all others, and even where you are, please make sure it's come and support. That's what it's all about for it. But anyway, I'm just very thrilled. Get those free items from one here, and I'll just say I'm over the moon. So, let me right now, I'm gonna get some, gonna get a play this for one here, and hope we're gonna get it tested. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this short unboxing, uh, doing a pickups video here. Hopefully, I was attempted to get one game on the Mega Drive, but unfortunately, this is the America's version, and that was Super Monaco GP. So unfortunately, it's an America's version. It says, "Ah, oh. you know I say, you win some, you lose some," because I was really want to get find the Power's version of a uh, Super. Uh, Super Mario G, um, Super uh, Monaco GP. But hopefully, fingers crossed. If not, Video Game Expo has one of those games is in a, one of those stands. Then I'm gonna get that game. I'm definitely gonna get that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this pickups video, everybody. And remember, drop a big massive vibe for the video. Drop down in comments below your thoughts on the pickups here. And remember, of course, if you what um, if you play these games before. Just put down your comments and I will give it a reply back with a thumbs up and a love heart. Work one here for the support. Don't forget to click punch, the subscribe button, and tap the bell for notifications to see more videos very soon. So then, this is Jack here. See ya.